Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at yet another Ajaz. They seem to be coming out with a new keyboard every week now. Now this is the AK351 version 2. I have never taken a look at the AK351 first version, so this is going to be all new for me. As far as I know, it is a full-size, hot swappable south-facing keyboard with an FR4 plate gasket mounting, a screen and a knob. That's what I recall. But as of late, um, I've kind of as of late I've kind of gone through a transformation. Uh, for the longest time, I just a jazz boards didn't gel with me. I don't know what it was, whether it was their key mapping, the software, odd layouts, looking at UAK33. Um, but it just, they just never struck me right. The only one that I have had and have liked consistently is uh, the little 60% with the knob. That's wireless that has a slot for the, the um, my tablet. I don't even remember the model number of it, but the battery on it even though it's like a 1500 milliamp hour lasts forever um granted i'd turn off rgb but my samsung tablet fits right into the slot and i can use it and it's like a little laptop and it's just it's got a place in my heart other than that all the ajaz i reviewed for a while i was just like eh, eh. but as of i'm saying almost three months now Every HS I've reviewed, it just continues to leave me going, wow, well, this, is, this is much better. Not only how they sound, how they feel, but how their software is. They've improved. They, they have functions, function layers now. Um, they have per key RGB. They have something more than just a basic, hey, look, here's your keyboard software. Um, and they're putting a lot more thought and design into their products. So... I have been happy. Heck, the last one I took a look at, um, I want to say it was the AC100. Uh, that was, the, in my opinion, the best AJAZ keyboard that I've had, that I've experienced out of the box yet. This may change that. This may match it. I don't know. Uh, but I do know that it's one of the, like I said, it's a version 2, and they seem to have, as of late, breathed some new life into them. And there's a few keyboards that they've come out with that, are quite interesting one that has a whole like touch screen panel on the side i really want to take a look at that one anyway today we're taking a look at this one this is the ak351 version 2 so without further ado let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got waiting for us in the box so in the box we have a standard wire switch and keycap puller we have a rubberized um, beige or off-white the same color as the keyboard um, USB-A to USB-C connector cable. And we have the user manual for the Ajaz and Nacodex. Some of them are Ajaz, some of them are combined with Nacodex. I don't think I've ever seen an individual Nacodex, but I, it may just be in another market or something. It's the AK351 B3 Max. Oh, I didn't have the full name there. Make sure I get it. AK351 B3 Max. All right. Because this is a three mode, has a screen, has a knob, and it looks like it has some pretty detailed instructions here. Good. I'm glad when they include good instructions. I hate when they have to actually go out and search for how to do something. It should already be included. And here we are with the AK351 V2 Max. <laughs> um, make sure I get that right full-size keyboard and I definitely um, did pick the retro style but why would I pick a retro oh yeah that's right that's my favorite anyway thankfully a jazz has been kind enough to include a dust cover this is very important and can help protect your keyboard and make sure that it lasts as long as it should last well upon an initial inspection I gotta say they got the retro right all the way this feels very retro i love the angles of the buttons um i even like the uh the shiny oh it's one of those two-piece knobs this has one collar and this has another these are very well attached let me just say that but the uh the is that fake metal kind of feels like plastic that's been like 
covered with metal, but it could just be a very light aluminum. From the screen to the angled buttons to the depressed LED indicators to the colors on the caps, everything is lovely retro. Now, would I have appreciated some extra key caps? Yes, I would have. What if I wanted to do a little bit more orange or less orange, go with more brown? Is that a big issue? No. Well, there's plenty of keycap sets out there we can get. It does appear that we have Cherry Keycap Profile. Let's take a look at these. They are double shot keycaps and they seem to be pretty thick. They are 1.4 millimeters in thickness. That is a pretty good thickness for stock keycaps. Now here we have it is um, the avocado switch, the Ajaz avocado switch. I actually, I kind of like it because it does kind of match an avocado. You got the brown for the stem and then you know, the different, the two different greens of the avocado. It is a nice, what I would assume is lubricated since there's no pin. It is Ajaz, so it's an Ajaz avocado linear. It's a pretty light linear, I'd say 35, 40 grams, and does appear actually to be full travel. Has a nice, almost muted bottom out. So that's a nice little switch, five pin. All right, let's check out these stabilizers here. All right, we got plenty of uh, lubrication inside of the housing. And yep, we got a little bit right around the elbow there, so that's good. Um, it's a little bit too much. I will come back to it at some point and clean that up. But that's still not too bad. I've seen much, much worse. Checking down to the PCB, it does not appear that it has support for screw and stabilizer, so we're stuck with the. Uh, plate mounts ones and we do have an FR4 plate so despite being gasket mounted we're going to have more of a firm typing experience because of the FR4 plate which I'm actually coming to find that I think I prefer that better than PC <laughs> and I've been getting PC for the longest time nope oh. make sure to lock these back um for the PCV, we have three and five pin hot swap compatible. We have south facing LEDs and we have hi fi layers, which means the PET layer above the PCB and the IXPE foam above the PET. It also looks like we have some softer open cell foam dampening below the PCB, as well as some dampening between the plate and the PCB. Now, just to get an initial idea of what it sounds like. Well, all I can say about that is that it's pleasant. That is... I, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. I, if I got this keyboard at work and it was handed to me, I'd be like, thank you. And I'd just get to work on it. It really... Besides maybe a little, little bit of tuning on the stabilizers, because I think it just has a little bit more lubrication than it needs. This is, it's just, it's, it's lovely. It sounds lovely. It feels lovely. Um... I said it's not like I'm not sinking into anything, but I've got that softness in every stroke because of the gasket mounting. So looking at the side or the back, we see that we have a dedicated Windows and Mac switch. Please always use switches. I prefer that. I think a lot of people do rather than having to jumble or mess around with key combinations. Maybe it's function A, maybe it's function C. Don't try function W. We've got a separate, um, also important to have a mode switch, I believe. Um, 
too many keyboards they're like they're people plug them in and they don't work right away because the keyboard wants you to switch over to wired mode like plug it in the usb should be enough to let you know that i'm in wired mode so that's appreciated down at the bottom we see that we have a total of two flip out feet for three different typing angles and we have what appears to be a magnetic pocket for the 2.4 gigahertz dongle and yes we have a branded dongle thank you very much ajaz that is awesome when it is branded like this we're going to be able to find it right away not going to be like um what's this too uh, like this one i just found like this one i just found this on the floor yesterday i have no idea what keyboard this goes to it's going to be an interesting journey to try to find out what this goes to. Alright, so let's plug it in and see what the RGB has to offer us. Alright, so the that is the charging indicator, and that's the num lock, and that's your caps lock. All right, we have two ways to indicate it, and oh, that one as well. Okay, I've been saying it wrong. This is the 8K35i Max, not 351, 8K35. All right, so you got a press and hold function knob to get to the menu. And then there's where we have all of the controls as well as the animation all right so that's pretty pretty simple because of the fr4 plate the lights are not diffusing as well as they could an fr4 plate probably would have made a big difference in as far as being able to see the lights but because the footprint of these keycaps and an fr4 plate there's not much of the light that's coming through yeah, it's a whole 24 hours in the future I wonder if I could ask it for the lottery numbers. Will that work? <laughs> Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the AJAZ AK35i V3 Max. This is a three mode full size keyboard with both a customizable screen and a knob. It is preloaded with an FR4 gasket mounted plate and a south facing three and five pin hot swap PCB with flex cuts and hi-fi layers. This is also loaded with HS avocado linear switches and double shot PBT cherry keycaps with a thickness of 1.4 millimeters. This keyboard comes weighing in at 1,225 grams and is loaded with an 8,000 milliamp hour capacity battery. The chin of this keyboard sits at 25 millimeters off the typing surface, while the back sits at 32 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Raising the first set of flip out feet will take the back up to 40 millimeters, changing your angle of typing to 8 degrees. Flipping out the final set of fold down feet will take the back up to 45 millimeters and your angle of typing to 11 degrees. This keyboard MSRPs for $109.99 on whatgeek.com, links below. I wanted to take a quick look at the software, though a lot of the latest eJazz software that I'm encountering all seems to be extremely similar. They've updated to a newer version. I don't know any of the closed source names for their configuration software though i wish they would just come up with a single one for all of them anyway it, the version that i installed did say version 2 although this is the version 3 but the download link said version 2 and 3 so you should be fine using this for either the v2 or the v3 max max is with the screen and the knob so we open it up and we see that we do have layers we can rebind the top layer and we also have momentary and toggle function and a regular regular function layers and we can make momentary and toggle we have a basic macro manager creator and editor that we can bind with function key combinations or bind to single keys we can select our light effects um, 
our colors, if we want it rainbow, if we want it a certain color. Then we come to our screen section. Here we come, and um, at first I tried to uh, upload some portrait uh, animations when I needed to upload a landscape animation. So I found this one from um, the Spaghetti, uh, that DreamWorks animation movie about the scientist that makes a whole bunch of food. And he's making that wow face, that shock face. Um, it uploaded actually pretty quick and the animation looks really nice on the screen. Then we do have perky RGB or what they call user lighting. So here it allows us to either select all the keys, the numeric keys, the WASD keys, or individually, or drag and select keys, then select the color that you would like them to be. You have, do have to select the key and then press the color in order to change it. Then to the settings section, we see that we can set the key response time to different levels. We can set the sleep time. We can reset the keyboard or completely reset the keyboard. I don't know the difference between the two. One is probably just the settings. The other one is probably taking it right back to where it was at stock firmware. So we have another solid outing from Ajaz. Like I said, I have done in the last like two months, I want to say roughly. Um, I guess the first one was the AK820 Pro, then the Max or the Max and the Pro. Um, then a couple of other ones that have just come and I'm just, I'm like, okay, Ajaz, um, you're definitely bringing better game to the market. Um, prices are comparable. Uh, like I said, this is a full size. There's not many full size keyboards available, especially with a customizable screen and knob. Um, it does have function layers. Uh, thankfully, all the settings store on the keyboard. So like me, I'm going to be using this on my Linux desktop. So I need to program it on the Windows machine and move it over to my Linux desktop. But any of the bindings that I have will already be in place. Um, I will be working on a video to kind of cover general usage of configuration software, which I'll cover via cover a little bit of QMK and I'll cover different, um, some of the different uh, so closed source software suites uh, uh, just to help everybody out with like a general like starting out guide. Um, um, I feel being that I'm a software developer by trade, I think that I might have a, a good angle to come at with to be able to share and I'll share ideas and ways to kind of think of the software so that even if you come across a configuration software you've never used before, you should still be able to use it just by intuition and a couple little tricks that might help with that. But that, that'll that be coming in some time. I've got some stuff to catch up with and life, um, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Anyway, um, I actually, I, I like this keyboard. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put it as my daily driver. I love how well it sounds. I actually... Carbon is one of my favorite retro sets, and this, even though it's not carbon, it has that orange, but it also has this muted beige and muted gray uh, negative, and it just, I don't know, I really like it. I saw something similar on the War Mirror um, keyboard that I reviewed not too long ago, and on here, I, I just, I love how it looks, I like how it sounds, I like how it feels. And um, I don't know, I, I, I like the fact that I have done a complete 180 with Ajaz uh, because it's it's like, OK, they've made changes that have literally taken me from, oh, that's an Ajaz. I don't even uh, to, oh, it's an Ajaz. Really? Well, let me check it out. So it's literally completely changed my mind. I mean, and that's I think that's the beauty of this hobby or many hobbies is that sometimes, you know, you can be like, I don't like that. And whether it's the company changing or an individual changing or, you know, just a, just a combination of, you know, different factors that take, you know, something that one may not have enjoyed, but, you know, improvements have been made, changes have been made that it comes to a point where it's like, okay, well, I didn't used to like this brand because it's not like the, this keyboard. I, I never saw this any revision before this one of this keyboard but whatever whatever they were this one i know 
is much closer to my likings. Um, like I said, it, it, it satisfies a lot of things. Um, and I think that we do need to, there does, and I, I do think that there needs to be a full, there does need to be more choices for full size keyboards as that will help to bring more people into the hobby. A lot of people still just don't know what a mechanical keyboard is. Um, I really would like to see one of the manufacturers. Actually, I know we will at some point. I just don't know who's going to be the first one. Yes, it's going to add a little bit of cost, but the cost of these boards are coming down. Will it be Dell? Will it be Alienware? That actually includes as one of the choices a mechanical keyboard where you can select your switches and everything when you're checking out. I think we'll be seeing that day pretty soon. More people are becoming aware of mechanical keyboards and not only the customization, but also the fact that I mean, there's a, there's a lot better ergonomics and you have a lot more choices in how to use the keyboard with the height, with the travel from HE to mechanical to optical. There's a lot of choices with those choices. You give people the ability to customize and make something that's really going to work well for them. I think AJAZ is definitely going on that path now or has adjusted course and is now on a path of delivering keyboards that are customizable and are meant to be pleasing to the end user. I mean, a keyboard, yes, it's a tool at the end of the day, but it's something that we're humans. We like to personalize things. We like to speak our personality through, you know, the things that adorn us or that we use, our tools, our clothing, our car, our home. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I, I'm completely enjoying the AJAZ renaissance, if you want to call it that. I'm going to be using this as my uh, daily driver. Um, I will probably come back to it. Actually, I know I'll come back to it so that we can open it up, take a look at what's inside. Who knows, maybe um, do a, a, a mod to it. I mean, it sounds pretty good so far, but I mean, what if we could make it thud? Or we're going to make it a silent board? Or what if we could make it a quiet board? That's another thing I'm going to be working. Actually, I already started working on a video about the difference between quiet and silent switches, because there is a difference. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the AJAZ AK35i V3 Max. I think I got that all right. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a mouthful. Full-size, gasket-mounted, customizable screen knob. Um, I did not see any way to change the knob functionality. Uh, I know a lot of people ask that question. Um, a lot of these closed source software is not doing that. Hopefully, I have been sending emails to all the manufacturers like, hey, can you guys like make the knob programmable? Especially if you have those different function layers, it, it would make it even that much more useful uh, for those of us that do video editing, music editing, even just scrolling long documents to be able to just and scroll page by page that would be awesome so that's the only thing but that's a, a minor nitpick i'm still able to be quite productive with this keyboard so um, i do want to wish everyone watching an awesome rest of your day and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on